Former Sheriff Jack Strain was back in the St. Tammany Parish Courthouse Tuesday morning, but this time in an orange jumpsuit and shackles. Several of the victims were here as well to share their victim impact statements. That's the victim's opportunity to share how the offenses affect them before Strain was sentenced to life. He will never, never hurt no other child. And that's one thing I prayed for, that he would never get out. Because what he put my son through and me through, I don't want no mother to go through this. Patricia Finn is ready for a new chapter in her son's life. Mark Finn, who has been in and out of prison for more than two decades, blames Jack Strain for his anger and alcohol and drug use. Strain was found guilty of raping and molesting Finn as early as six years old. This is Mark when he was six years old. During his victim's impact statement Tuesday, Finn called Strain a predator, a monster, and a pervert, saying, today I feel like a hero for stepping forward first. He turned to Jack Strain saying, are you sorry? If you are Sorry, I will forgive you. Jack Strain did not respond. He kept on looking at me and smiling and, you know, I'm not going to uh, be his level. Following another rape victim said, you didn't just damage my body, you severely damaged my mind. The judge sentenced Jack Strain to four life sentences without parole for the aggravated rape charges, plus an additional 30 years for the aggravated incest and decent behavior of a juvenile and sexual battery charges. He was also fined $30,000 and has agreed to pay nearly $28,000 for prosecution costs. He got exactly what he deserved. Finn said during his victim impact statement, he now feels ready to rebuild his life. Well, he don't have to face him anymore. He can get help, and I know he will. After Strain's sentencing Tuesday, Strain's attorney, Billy Gibbons, said an appeal will be filed. In Covington, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.